You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Some of you may be on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Cilio Tales of a New Dawn, Diego's Route. That was quite a mouthful. I'm just uh, sitting here waiting on my 4090 to arrive. I'm very excited. Can't wait to put that baby in my system and see what she's capable of. But yeah, anyway, guys, while I wait, I'm going to make a video for you. So let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you're up, and let's go. Might have to do some editing on this one. Yeah, but I will. I stifled a yawn as I considered my next move. Diego seemed to be taking it all quite well so far, so I took a chance and gently pulled down his shorts. <gasps> it's a penis! <laughs> I began lapping around his thighs, gradually moving ever closer to my target. His pair of boxers, now only inches from my nose. I continued working my way up, getting closer and closer. Oh dear. Oh my. And then what? You fell asleep! Oh, oh my god. Really? What? You're kidding! Nope. You literally started snoring mid-lick and it was kind of hilarious. I can't believe this! Why? Disappointed the story doesn't have a satisfying conclusion? Yes, I, I mean, no, I, I mean, oh god, I'm so embarrassed! That's why I wasn't going to tell you. Ah, jeez. You really didn't remember doing that? I don't remember anything. Wait, but you said... I know what I said. I, I didn't think you'd ever tell me to unless I guessed. But how'd you know that I knew? Uh... Hey, oh hey, a fair's fair, a secret's for a secret for a secret. What do you mean? I, uh, was awake when you woke up. You pretended to be asleep? Had no idea how we got there or what might have happened. I was going to slip away, but then your alarm went off. Well, wasn't tonight horribly awkward? I'm so ashamed of myself. Well, if you don't mind, I think I'm going to go and hide in my hide in my room now. Me too. Diego briskly fled down the hall in an effort to escape the awkward conversation I followed not far behind. Just as I was switching off the lights, I glanced over at the table where an empty tub of ice cream sat. The label read strawberry. Yeah. <laughs> Day seven. It's been one week since he moved in. All right, everybody get over here. I'll give you all the rundown. I'd been called in along with many others to help Lucas to fulfill a big contract due today. Lucas's team was comprised of his key personnel, including Dom and Eric, as well as a bunch of new faces I hadn't seen before. No doubt some of those Lucas had called on, such as like much like myself. The group of us assembled before Lucas as he delivered our instructions. The client today is a good friend of mine, and we've been tasked with catering for a stall he'll be opening at tonight's festival in town. We're going to be preparing a large number of food items in bulk. Nothing too difficult, but it needs to be right. I'll be splitting you all into teams, and each team will be responsible for a specific item. Most of the supplies you'll need are in the kitchen already. As for the remainder, I've got a delivery coming shortly, which will contain everything we're lacking. Any questions? There were some murmurs from amongst the crowd, but nobody piped up with anything substantial. Lucas began calling people over to assign them to their teams and give them their individual instructions. It's Golden Day, a local holiday commemorating the day that gold was first struck in the local mines many years ago. In case you were curious. Oh god, Echo all over again. I was. Nobody had mentioned this to me. I had no idea. Jeez, Diego's slack, isn't he? Then again, he's no doubt helping Ty with the festival preparation, so I suppose it's just another workday for him. Or perhaps with the awkward conversation from the previous night, didn't have the chance. Something Lucas had said prior had caught my attention. I had decided to ask Dom about it. Hold on, Lucas said close friend. Are we catering for Ty? Bingo! He doesn't have the staff to prepare this much food. Each year, Ty recruits Lucas to prepare a lot of the easier stuff, while Ty and his workers handle the signature dishes. That makes sense. Okay, next up is Eric and Brian. Well, that's my cue. Knock him dead. If it ain't Brian... Looks like we're teammates today, buddy. Huh, did I miss something? Oh, no, nothing at all. Hmm, honestly, I'm surprised to see you back at work so soon, Eric. How's the foot? Psh, it was barely a scratch to begin with. Don't worry about me, big man. Hmm, you say so. Our client prefers his burgers on homemade buns. He's gotten quite a few ready as things stand, but he's going to need a whole lot more. That will be your responsibility for today. Here's his recipe. It's a little unorthodox, but follow it to the letter and you'll manage. Burger buns? Nero was expecting a challenge. Do, 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 do. To the letter, okay, Eric? Of course, you can always count on me, you know. I could hear Lucas's teeth grinding together from where I stood as Eric took the recipe and made his way into the kitchen. 
Between just you and me, please keep an eye on him and make sure he doesn't screw it up at all like he did with the stage lights. No problem at all. Thanks. Now get to work. I'm on it. I caught up with Eric, who was already assembling the ingredients on the counter. Well, ain't I glad to be working with you again? I decided against telling him Lucas was having me keep an eye on him. Instead, I just nodded my head in response. Ah, uh, flour. Where's the flour? Over to my right, I saw a cupboard filled with ingredients. On the top shelf was a bag of white flour. I grabbed the bag and placed it on the counter in front of Eric. Ah, there's the flour. Thanks. Oh, hey, I've been dying to ask. About? Any, pro any progress with, you know, what we talked about the other day? I, uh... I suppose in a way there had been progress, but with the events of the previous day and the night before that. Given the context of the situation, however, I wasn't sure I really wanted to fill Eric in. Oh, come on! You promised! Actually, I didn't. Come on! I felt as though Eric would nag me until I finally relented. I suppose there was no harm in telling him, assuming he kept his mouth shut about it. Okay, okay, but it's between us, alright? Yes, tell me everything! I recounted to Eric a redacted version of the previous day and the evening that preceded it all, deliberately leaving out, leaving out, leaving much out, including details from my conversation with Ty, as well as some of the more embarrassing moments from the night prior to it. Nah, no way. You can't tell me you both got super drunk and then get all vague around the details. What is there to say? We drank a lot, talked a lot, then fell asleep. I don't want to tell him about the licking. Oh god, how embarrassing. You're blushing. What? No, I'm not. Qu quiet down, everyone's looking. True enough, several of the other workers had heard Eric's outburst and were looking our way. No way, you're totally blushing. Spill your secrets. God damn it, I couldn't really deny there was more to the, to the story. I had little choice but to fill him in. Well, I might have licked him a few times. Where? Shh, on, on his cheek. And his chest. The goods? What? No, no. I, I mean, I, I didn't get that far. Ah, oh, spoil the fun, why don't you? I can't help it, I fell asleep. What, while licking him? It, yeah. You're such a dork. Shut up. Thankfully, the conversation was interrupted by the sound of a doorbell. I can only assume it was the delivery Lucas had mentioned. A shame it hadn't rung moments earlier to interrupt the awkward conversation. I saw Dom enter the room and head to the, and head to the back door of the kitchen. He opened the door, revealing none other than Axel carrying several large plastic crates full of groceries. He entered the room behind Dom and placed the crates on one of the tables in the center of the room, before noticing me and wandering over to greet me. Hey, Brian! They ripped you into helping with the festival prep, too! That they did! Wouldn't be much of a festival with nobody to set it up, right? Ain't much of a public holiday when you have to work, though. That's true. Sorry, but I can't stay in chat. I've got more containers to bring in, and then a whole ton of deliveries after this. No problem. <clears throat> I'll come I'll come with you and take some of your load. Uh oh Yes, please, Dom. <laughs> Dom headed out the back door to the, of the kitchen while Axel, dazed briefly, snapped back to attention and hurriedly followed suit. Ha! <laughs> He's gonna take some of his load. <laughs> well, wait a minute. I saw it! He was totally blushing! Shh! Once again his loud mouth had attracted attention from around the room. Sorry, sorry. You're right, though. He's got a real craving for some fox cock. What have I done to deserve this? The two of us continued preparing buns for the festival with casual chatter happening between us. I just placed our final batch in the oven when Lucas came over to check on our progress. How are the buns coming together? I think you'll agree that we're amazing. I'll be the judge of that. Lucas inspected a batch of buns cooling atop the counter. He picked up one of the buns, inspecting it at every angle to ensure it was up to standard. I'm shocked. These are actually very good. A subtle grin washed over Lucas's face. I too was shocked, but for different reasons. After all, this was the first time I think I'd seen even Lucas ever smile. Beside me, Eric practically had stars in his eyes, his gaze transfixed on Lucas's smiling face. Well done, both of you. Finish up the batch that is cooking and lay the buns out on the trays. You're then free to go. Pretty good music. Gotta pray it's not copyrighted. Alright, thanks, Lucas. Did you see that? What, Lucas smiling? Yeah, you have no idea how rare that is. For you, maybe. I'm willing to bet money that's the first time you've seen it yourself. Well, yeah, but that's not the point. He's so handsome when he smiles. Oh boy, here we go. Eric spent the remainder of our shift swooning as we finished our work and headed our separate ways. The festival would be starting soon, but I had some time beforehand if there was anything else I wanted to do. What do I want to do, and who do I want to do? Well, oh, Kyrax, okay. See what Kyrex is up to. Today was Saturday, the very day of Kyrex's invitation. On account of the festival, the gym was both understaffed and practically deserted. 
I can see why Kyrex picked this day of all days. I knew full well would likely be walking into, but to be honest, I was nervous. My legs were all shaky and my heart was beating noticeably quicker. Okay, let's uh, go back. Yeah, I, I don't think I want to do that right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to edit out, like, tons of dicks. The sun had only recently set and I found myself battling the crowds in the midst of the festival. The main drag was the main drag was blocked off to traffic and the streets were filled with stalls on either side serving food or selling merchandise. There's so many people out and about, I found it hard to keep track of where I'd been and where I had yet to go. Nonetheless, I set about my goal by heading in a single direction, checking the plaques on each stall as I went. It wasn't long before I found a sign that read Ty's Kitchen and Bar. I made my way over to it, skipping the crowd lined up at, lined up at the front and off to the side where I could see a small opening in the side of the stall. Sure enough, I spotted Diego in the back, flipping burger patties and placing them on some rather familiar-looking buns. Diego! Brian, what are you doing here? I came to see you, of course. How's business? Busy. It slowed down a little, but I'm still wor I'm still still working real hard. Brian, what a pleasant surprise. Hey, Ty, hope the burger buns are up to scratch. Oh, Lucas had you working on my buns, did he? I saw Diego smirk a little. Thank goodness Eric wasn't here. That would have made things so much worse. Worry not. They're as exceptional as I'd hoped. I'm sure Lucas would have not let them out of the building, were they not? Glad to hear it. I assume you were here to see Diego. That's right. Diego, I think we can handle things from here if you'd like to go and enjoy the festival with Brian. What? Are you sure? We're still so busy. It is fine. You've been working all day. You deserve the time off. Your assistance has been most appreciated. Well, if you're sure. Most sure. Oh, and please take these with my compliments. Ty handed us two boxes, each containing a burger. I cannot expect either of you to pay after all your hard work. Yes, free burgers! Thank you, Ty. You are very welcome. Now go and enjoy yourselves. And be sure to have a little f extra fun for me. You got it, boss. The two of us made our way through the crowds, taking bites of our meals as we walked. Once or twice, we narrowly missed having them knocked from our hands, but Diego was both insistent and very hungry after a long day's work. Cho, where to? I don't know. This is my first time here. What is there to do? And swallow your food before talking. Heh. <laughs> Well, there's a bunch of attractions, like carnival-type stuff where you can win prizes. There's the one where you put balls in the clown's mouth. <clears throat> Man, I had to deal with Eric this morning, and I had to deal with you too? Oh, you got stuck with Eric, working with Eric? I pity you. You're almost as bad. Heh. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, I know. Anyway, there's also the game where you shoot the metal ducks. That one is always fun. Last year, they had a really cool gaming console as top prize, but I wasn't good enough. It wasn't a good enough shot. There's a few others, but those are the ones with the best prizes. What do you think? Which game should we try? The clown game. Shoot the metal ducks. Let's see if we can do it. Let's shoot some ducks! I'm game! Okay, let's do it. We arrived at the duck game where Diego began looking over the prizes. Look, it's the same console as last year! Are you gonna go for it? Damn right! Diego paid the line behind the counter and in return was handed six small pellets. The first of which Diego loaded into a rifle. On the back wall, there were six metal ducks across several rows moving back and forth. Interestingly, the console required seven ducks to win. Hey, why does the console need seven ducks when there's only six rounds? Oh, there's a red duck that comes out once per game. It only swims across once, so you've got to be ready for it. If you hit it, you get an extra round, and it accounts towards your total. Ah, oh, I see. Diego raised his rifle to his shoulder and aimed down the sights. He took a deep breath and pulled the trigger. Hit! Nice one! Diego loaded another pellet into his gun and took aim for the second shot. Another hit! Damn, Diego, you're good at this! Diego related once more and took it down a third duck. As he began reloading, a red duck emerged and began swimming rapidly across the back wall. Oh shit, quick, Diego! Diego double-timed it, jamming another pellet into his rifle and quickly raising it to his shoulder. By the time he did, the duck was almost gone. Diego rushed his shot and missed. Shit! Diego was not successful winning the prize, but he did get a small bag of chocolates and a and as a consolation prize for still managing to hit five ducks. Stupid duck got the better of me. My turn! I paid the line and got my pellets, loading my rifle ready for my first shot. I took the shot. Hit. Reloading, I scanned the field for my friendly sign of a red duck. Nothing yet. I shot another duck. Hit! I reloaded my rifle and scanned the field carefully again. Still nothing. But it struck me that it was about this point that the duck appeared for Diego. What should I do? It struck me that I was being timed and I didn't have long to waste. But if the duck came out came out just as I was taking my shot, I wouldn't be able to reload in time. A little while, a while longer. Yep. 
I'll wait another 10 seconds or so. The duck still not appear, so I took my third shot. Hit. Began to reload, and sure enough, the... What? Nope. Okay. Nope. We're gonna... Take a shot really quickly. I took my third shot, which was another hit, before reloading my rifle once more. Just as I raised my rifle to my shoulder, I saw the red duck emerge from the right side, right hand side of the wall. You're going down, red duck! I took the shot, hitting the duck, to be awarded with another pellet. I took another successful successive shots. Five ducks, six ducks, seven whole ducks! The lion congratulated me on my victory and handed me a bag containing a gaming console. Hey, great work! You got a gaming console! I handed the bag to Diego. What, you want me to carry it for you? Nope, I want you to have it. What? Are you sure? Dead sure. Take it. Thanks, Brian. You're the best. Diego surprised me with a warm hug. Oh, it's okay. Shall we go and do something else? Of course. The two of us began walking through the festival in search of something new to do. All right, so I'm going to go back and see what the clown game is like. We're going to ultimately we're going to go with the duck one. You know what? I want to put my balls in a clown's mouth. That sounds like fun. Hey, you can't scold me for doing it if you're just going to do it yourself. I know, I know, I'm sorry. Let's go. We'd arrived at the clowns and were assessing the prizes on offer this year. The top prize was a cell phone, and a pretty decent one at that, too. Oh, hey, I could use a new phone. You reckon we can do it? One way to find out. Diego approached the hyena behind the counter and paid for one game. In response, the man flipped a switch which released six ping pong balls into a gutter in front of the clown. The clown's head was shifting right, left to right. The idea was that you'd drop the ball in his mouth and would eventually drop into a board below with six numbered columns, each number being a score. The cell phone required the cell the cell phone required a score of 33 or higher to win, with the maximum possible score being 36, which was a tough task. Wish me luck. Good luck. Diego deposited the first ball. For several moments, you could hear it clattering around inside the clown before it rolled out of the tube and on the board below. Diego's first play was a fourth. It was a, was worth a four. Oof! Not a great start. He dropped his second ball soon after. I noticed that the tube was aligned with the two when he did. Diego's second play was a six. Okay, now we're talking. Third ball. This time I found myself counting how long it took for the ball to come out of the tube. Around four seconds later, the ball emerged and landed on one. Shit! Diego counted and continued his three remaining plays, scoring varied points between each turn. In the end, his score was only 22 and not enough to win anything, let alone the cell phone he was after. Damn it! Oh well, do you want to turn, Brian? I felt I had a solid understanding on how the game went on how to win the game. I approached the man in the small in the small in the stall and paid him, then grabbed my first ball. I'd so far played good rounds. I was sitting at exactly twenty seven points. I still had a shot at winning the phone, but I had to score a six point on the final round. I had to get this right, I thought back. Diego got a six when he dropped the ball when the pipe was over a certain number. When was it what was it again? Oh shit, I don't fucking know. Got a six when he dropped the ball when the pipe was over a certain number. Again. Let's see. Diego continues to make plays, very, scoring very points, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's see. Third ball, third ball, third ball, let's see. He dropped the ball. I noticed that the two was aligned with the two. Okay, sweet. All right. <gasps> I done it! I, I scored exactly 33 points! Nahina offered his congratulations and handed me a small box containing a cell phone. Hey, congratulations, you got a new phone. I handed the phone to Diego. Nope, you've got a new phone. What? Take it, it's a gift. Are you sure? Dead sure. Take it. Thanks, Brian. You're the best. Diego surprised me with a warm hug. That's oh, okay. Shall we go and do something else? Alright, so I'm gonna go back to the, uh... Let's see. To the Mill Ducks. Alright, guys. My graphics card is here. Alright, I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.